What do you typically do when you clock off work? Two Russellville firefighters say they always act as if they're still on the clock. Our Matthew King spoke to the duo who, even on a personal trip to South Carolina, made time to save lives. Firefighters in the Russellville Fire Department say they prepare for the worst every single day. Shane Mansell and Michael Hall say they're proof that firefighters stay ready no matter the occasion. Their training was put to the test when both men were off duty driving to South Carolina early Tuesday morning. When they were driving through the Massey community in Morgan County, they noticed something wasn't right. The residence was on fire, so I done an immediate U-turn in the road. Wearing only street clothes, the two quickly jumped into action and helped the family of five escape the home. They say it all happened in the blink of an eye, and they never processed how truly dangerous the situation could have been. I'm pretty sure they didn't even know we was firemen, you know. They were thinking totally different than we're thinking, you know, they was, you know, upset their house was on fire. And when it was all said and done, the family was safe and the two firemen continued on their trip. When asked if their actions make them heroes, they say it's something that anyone would do in their position. It's something we've been trained and done for 20 years. It's just come second hand, you know, no way we would have. There ain't another fireman out there that would probably passed that up, you know. Would the people got out of the house without us? There's a possibility, but you know, we done what we felt like we needed to do to, to go in and assist them out of the house. So uh, I would hope that every fireman that takes that oath of being a fireman would do what we done. Now, despite the dangerous encounter early Tuesday morning, the duo still made the trip to South Carolina and even showed up to work the next day. They told me it's just another day on the job. In Russellville, Matthew King, 48 on your side.